Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Rise stream here. This is a build and drive video. Um, I'm going to take a look at one of my favorite mods of all time for American Truck Simulator, the John Ruta Special uh, Kenworth W900, guys. And Kenworth W900s, um, for a long time, it was hard to find a good one. Um, John Ruta had this little uh, gem here for a very long time. Um, I didn't really know about it until recently, so uh, I just figured I'd take a, a little bit of time to share with you guys all of the features and options and why this makes uh, uh, why this is one of my favorite trucks. So let's go through them, shall we? We go into the mod dealership here, guys. We got the mod all installed up here, um, and you guys can see we do have one option, the aero cab sleeper for the uh, cabin. Um, if you go into the chassis options here, uh, there are four different options. We have the 6x4 standard, the long frame, the 8x4 standard, which adds that uh, tag axle right there, and the 8x4 long frame as well, which is definitely my favorite. So we're going to leave this one on here uh, for now and then take a look at the rest of these here. So uh, we're going to go into the engines. Um, the engines, um, I'm not really sure because I do have a few mod engine or other mods installed for engines, but I believe this does come with a Cummins N14, which is what we love to use here on the Riot Stream. You guys can see there are quite a few uh, engines here. I believe these all actually do. These look like they do come with the uh, truck here. So it looks like you do have quite a few engines, the Cummins uh 444 series the caterpillar cat c15 which a lot of people like uh the detroits um all kind of different engine options here i'm gonna go with probably the most powerful n14 that is what i like the best uh and what i use quite a bit so that'll be the n14 select plus chipped 610 but you guys could obviously play around with that and uh you know pick whatever you guys think sounds the best and performs the best uh, as far as transmissions go, you have your six speed, your 18 speeds um, with and without retarders. Uh, you also have a 10 speed and a 13. So pretty decent selection, um, six speeds. Uh, I obviously use the uh, 18 for pretty much everything. So we're going to go with that 18 speed. I love the, the low differential, that 3.06. I usually try to aim for like 3.25 or below. Uh, that gives you a lot of speed as, as opposed to uh you know a, a powerful you know if you're pulling an oversized load you probably want that a higher up but for us speed is everything <laughs> so we're going to go into the interior guys we're going to check out the interiors we have a red style and uh this is version 4.0 so we also have a new brown style as well that is up to personal preference obviously i like the red the rise stream is red uh we're going to go with that red let's go into the truck configurator as well we have the uh, custom, um, oh, these are the paint jobs, I'm sorry, the uh, the paint job configurator. Uh, we have uh, basically, I believe this is like kind of the default right here, truck color, and then you got all kind of truck colors to choose from, all kind of designs. This is one of my favorite things that John Ruta offers is with the coming with the truck, you get all kind of uh, skins as well. So you guys, we'll just take a quick little look and... Um, the colors, you know, are interchangeable for a lot of these as well. They're not all going to be, you know, beige and pinks, but, uh, you know, you could switch those up. Some of them you can't switch, some you can, just like any other skins. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to take a look at these real quick. There are quite a few. <laughs> so we'll just skim through these. Uh, you know, obviously, when you get this truck or if you get this truck, you're going to pick which one you like. Um but I actually like this one, Custom 39. That's probably my favorite. So that's probably the one we'll we'll go with, uh, or Custom 41 there. Uh, but there are quite a few options here. But that's what we're doing right now, guys, is we are going through every single thing that this truck offers on this build and drive, guys. All right. So all the way down, almost, what, 60, more than 60 options here. And, of course, the Custom Flat Colors. Um, let me see. I saw one. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. So we'll go with that. We'll do a little, uh, yeah, there's the, there's the small stripe. Yeah, we'll do a little red and black. What do you guys think? Looks fantastic. Let's get moving. All right, so we're going to go in here, guys, and here are all the nodes 
Um, now, in the most recent update, I believe version 4.0 of this truck, he had he added a lot. I don't believe this truck used to have beacons, um, but now it does. You guys know we love those beacons here on the Raya stream. We also have a chicken wing. Um, those are not compatible with the beacons, so we're going to take that off of there. Beacons take priority with me, guys. Uh, you also have your rear bar, which is which is fantastic as well. That's going to light up whenever you go in reverse. Um, I believe there's a front bar as well. Yes, there is. You also have the square top lights and the round top lights. We're going to go with that bar. That bar looks really cool. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is look at the horn options. Uh, these are fantastic. You got two different types of square horns, high and low, uh, set there on the roof. You guys can see the different heights there. Just the, the attention to detail is fantastic in this truck. This is why it's uh, one of my favorite trucks now, uh, with the most recent update. Uh, so we'll go with the we'll go with the square the square highs. Um. All right. So then, as far as the roof lights are concerned, you got the square roof lights, the round roof lights. Uh, and then even more round lights and the square lines. I like the round ones personally. That is all up to you. We're going to go in here and we're going to look at the um, the visors as well. There are a lot of visors now. Some of them new to the newest version of the truck, which is 4.0 at the time of this video. Um, you got your custom bigs, the bow ties, uh, the mean looking ones. Um, these ones here, these are also fantastic. I don't like it to cover, uh, just personal preference, I don't like to cover uh, too much of my view there. Um, but what's good about these is these are kind of like, these kind of, you know, move outwards. You know, they're not like some other truck mods I've seen where they just come straight down halfway through the roof. You can actually, if you drop the air out of your seat there, you know, you can see pretty good here. So, yeah, we're going to use that uh, just for the purposes of this video, we'll go with the chrome. A lot of people like the chrome, so we'll go with the chrome. You also have an interior light node as well, which is handy um, for lighting up that truck interior. Uh, it's always nice to actually see the truck interior, even if you're driving in the daylight. So that's a handy uh, little feature as well. And uh, you also that's for the interior of the truck. We'll go through that in a minute here. All right. So one thing new in the newest version 4.0 here at the time of this video is the uh, different grill. This used to be the only style of grill without the bars. Now uh, you can put those bars on just like a, a stock W9, which is kind of nice. Uh, I actually do prefer without the bars, but that is definitely nice to have that option now. So we're going to go without those bars. Uh, here are your four uh, bumpers. We have the, uh, the custom. These are all fantastic. We have the standard bumper. Uh, with this with the light nodes here, um, which I have a couple other mods installed, but this does come with like the orange lamps, the round small lamps. Uh, I like to go with the round small ones. Also has the LEDs. Um, yeah, it looks like well, actually no. Yeah, it does look like it. So you got the uh, you know your LED marker lights, whatever you guys want to put on there. Those are good for side lights as well. But I think I'm gonna actually go gonna go with uh, a different bumper there. We'll go with, uh, yes, this one. This one lines up real nice because a nice complete, you know, circle there on the side around that wheel. So we'll go with this one here. Um, you can put on whatever, whatever light you want. I like to go with the round, the little round ones. They have, oh, I didn't see this before. They got the round chrome as well with the little, uh, basically eyelash or eyelid there. Um, just for just for to save time, guys, we're not going to put those on there, but those are an option as well. So those are nice. I normally I would. I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and watch you or make you watch me uh, put all those on there. <laughs> and what's cool about these uh, trucks, they do have license plates that are uh, you know kind of customizable, not just the plates from the game, guys. You could use uh, you know Arizona, Florida. I like to use Idaho. Um, I think the Idaho looks cool. It looks like a real old school plate there, but they got all these different plates. For you guys as well to kind of you know customize it any way you want not every state but a lot of them uh and i definitely always use this option the um the bumper lights these are fantastic i love these i love i will put those on any chance i get you got the clear glass led lamps and just the regular orange lamps as well but we're gonna go with that led clear glass all right so what else am i missing here the kenworth logo 
which is fantastic. We'll put that on there as well. That's an option. Not required, but definitely nice to have that. Um, and the... Oh, yes. This is fantastic, too. The different styles of the uh, the hood, you know, the covers for the wheels there. Uh, you got the eyeless, which is awesome. This is really cool. I think this looks really, really good. Uh, the W900A style, your standard one, custom eyeless. We're going to go with that eyeless because, I mean, come on now. That looks amazing. <laughs> looks like a hot rod there. Okay, and the lights as well. So uh, I believe, I don't know if you could change these. No, I don't believe you can on the on the W9, but I think that's an option on the Pete. But um, yeah, so we're going to go with that, and we're going to go check out these uh, the lights as well. So they have the, the dual squares, which is nice. Uh, this is not normally what a W900 looks like. Look, normally, you would have those up. So if we change like... Uh, if we change this here back to normal, this is normally, you know, what they look like minus the uh, eyelashes there. But if you put on this other eyeless set, you get these uh, these different headlight options, which is really cool. So if you can't find this option to change the headlights, you might have to change the hood style first. So do that first. These are awesome. These are incredible. These have all kind of round, square uh leds all over them uh the old style really really cool love all the options here uh we're gonna go with the old style lensed dual squares just because i like a, a little bit of overkill in my uh headlights there but i think that looks fantastic a lot of people do like the round style i think that looks great too you guys can see the round style there oh my goodness might have to go with that round style actually <laughs> now we're gonna go with the squares guys we're going with the squares all right so what else do we have here the flags obviously if you're hauling oversized or whatever um i think we got everything for the bumpers covered there yes we do we'll move right up here to the filter lights why wouldn't you want those filter lights that is an option new in the newest version of this truck the new update is absolutely fantastic i have to say uh the lamp panel that's just a little little detail there um you could just Swap that out. We'll go with paint color there. Uh, the wheels. Uh, now, John Ruta gives you his own wheel pack, which I do recommend with the game. But what's cool is you can put these wide tires on as well. These wide wheels. Uh, they come with tires also. Uh, or you could go with the uh, classic style. You know, they have the Alcoa Kenworth. Alcoa. Uh, Alcoa, Alcoa Modern Style. You know, whatever you want. There are quite a few you can also put your other wheel packs on there, but these seem to just fit, you know, a little bit better for the truck. So that's what we'll use, guys. Uh, he also has the lug nuts. I don't, I'm not sure if he has custom lug nuts for this. I know he does for the Pete. Now it doesn't look like it. Okay. So, and then your, uh, your hub there and then the hub cover as well. So it's got all three options there. So those are easy to overlook, um, but you want to put those on. You have to put those on yourselves. You know, his little wheel accessories. Um, new in this version as well, you have the uh, the textured metal there. You also have your chrome. You have your paint. Uh, we're going to go with the newest version, that textured uh, metal. I like that. And then you have, you can change this to paint as well. Chrome long, uh, paint short, and chrome short. So that just adds that little extra section right there, guys. So we'll, we'll go with the paint. We'll go with the paint. Okay, so moving on, we have, what is this right here? We have a custom exhaust, so two different exhausts there, guys. Uh, that looks fantastic as well. Uh, I'm going to go with the, I don't really like the, um, it's just a personal preference, but I don't really like these guards. I kind of like them uh, without the guards, so we'll use this exhaust right here. Um you got the chrome uh, grips as well when you're getting in and out of the cab. That's an option to put on there. New in the latest version of this truck as well. Uh, you have your, uh, you know, little visor, sun, sun blocker accessories as well. And the mirrors. You only have one style option of mirrors, which these are fantastic. Why would you need any others? Okay, so let's see what else. 
it's it's easy to miss things when there's a lot of options here <laughs> and what's cool is you know with the newest version you do have a lot more options so i'm just gonna make sure i'm going through and not missing anything yeah it looks good okay so you can add some lamps along the side uh you could add your standard your long or not have any at all we're gonna add those uh led lamps on the side guys uh it's kind of nice that you don't have to put each individual one you can also put an aero cab logo on the side as well I would normally take that off, or, but for this video, we'll leave it on there just for fun. You can also remove the spoiler, which is really, really nice. Some people do not like those spoilers. I don't mind the spoiler on the W900, so I'm going to keep that on there. But it is an option, and I think it looks pretty stinking good. All right, so let's go in here. We can do custom lights as well. These are new in the newest version. Um you know, you got your standard lights or your custom. We're going to definitely run those custom LEDs back there. Um, and your tanks as well. You got your painted and your chrome. Uh, you also have this little extra accessory as well. So we'll uh, we'll take that off because I'm not a huge fan of that. I kind of like the, the bare bottom there. And yeah, looks good. Okay, so I think that is it for the front of the cab. Let's go behind the cab here. Uh, let's check out the paint so you guys could change, you know, to your paint color. And, and of course you could change that paint color, you know, to whatever you want. That'll just match your base paint. Uh, we'll leave that, that dark red there. Uh, go back into the nodes. So, or you could just make it black. We'll leave it paint. Obviously that looks fantastic. Uh, this is a paint plus LEDs back here. I didn't even notice this the first time I used it. Uh, but you can have a little, uh, you know, a little tank cover, right, they call it. I'm not really sure what you'd call it, but it's a little piece that extends from tank to tank in the back there. This one actually has LEDs. That is super cool. So definitely a nice little option. We'll definitely leave that on there. Uh, so then we'll go through the paint. Accessory paint not compatible with standard. Standard needs removed. Okay, so we'll just say yes, sure. Oh, okay, I see what that does. So that's going to add. All right, so let's not do that yet. Let's not do that yet. <laughs> We're going to go remove the flooring. There you go. Because I want to show you guys this as well. So we have the standard uh, airline hookups. And then we also have connectors at the back of the frame. This is nice if you have something from a modder where you could connect your airlines up. So you have like the BART step deck or anything like that. This has, that has an option to connect your airlines underneath the, the trailer there. So you don't. So it's a nice clean look. Um that's a nice, that's a very, very nice option to have on this truck. So if you could, if you want to clean up, you know, but we don't have, I don't have any of the those types of mods installed right now. So we're not going to go with that, but I do recommend it, obviously. Uh, so let's go back in here. Yeah, so so we're going to leave it on the standard, guys. Uh, so let's go change this now. You got your metal short. You got your paint, which is really nice, clean looking. You have your paint short. I believe that's for shorter, the shorter frames. And you have your paint plus connectors. Now, this is what we're going to use. This is what I always use whenever I have a standard trailer. This cleans up the whole back. That way you don't have airlines hanging out back here. It's just a nice clean look from uh, your tractor to your trailer there. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much how that works. You also have underglow as well. This is new in the latest version of the truck, 4.0. Uh, you got your red. We're obviously going to go with red. You could select this as a beacon. So if you guys have a beacon control, uh, you know what you do. It's I believe it's the O key on the keyboard. Um, you could turn on your beacons and that will activate the underglow and that'll have a nice fade in effect too. It won't just turn on instantly. It will fade in and out. So that is really cool. You can also set that as a parking light as well. So I guess if you're parked, I've never used it as a parking light, but the beacon uh, selection works very, very well. Um, but you might want to do it as parking as well, uh, just because you might want to be able to turn on and off your beacons and then not, ha and you know, still have your underglow. So that'll probably, I would assume that would activate whenever you turn on your parking lights. So yeah, that might be something you want to option, uh, select as an option. I just like having it on the beacon switch. Okay. So let's see here. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything on these nodes here. Yeah, we got all those. Um, we also have, there are a couple different ways to change up your, uh, fa your fairings on the back here. You know, you got your custom paint and stuff like that. 
for your tail lights. So there's the different tail lights. You got this nice little custom tail light as well. We'll leave that one on. I think that looks very, very good. You also have a uh, a metal and a paint rear end there for your frame. Uh, the fifth wheel detail is absolutely phenomenal. You guys can see that shiny, greasy fifth wheel looks fantastic. Uh, and also you get painted wheels as well. So if you want to, you know, put these on, this is incompatible with the mud flaps, obviously. But if you want to put these on like this, uh, they also have ones that cover the entire span of your axles back here. All kinds of different options for the fenders, guys. So this looks fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is amazing. I didn't even see these ones down here. Oh, man. <laughs> I should have went through these the first time I used this truck. But, yeah, I think this looks amazing. So, yeah, lots and lots of options here, guys. I'll just quickly show you all of them. There you go. So I wonder, let me just check something here. Oh, that's cool. So you could kind of switch it up. I don't know why you'd do that, but you could also switch up your, your drop axle as well. So that's definitely cool. Might go with this. I think we're going to go with this right here. Yeah, that node disappeared. Okay. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, let's just set this to the John Ruda wheel. Uh, I'm not really sure which ones these are. Let me just... So we have all the matching wheels. Okay, that's the 24.5 Chrome Alcoa Kenworths. Okay. Let me just make sure that's the correct one. 24.5 Alcoa Kenworth. Fantastic. We get the same wheels on there. Uh, same lugs. Uh, okay, here's the options for the lugs. So you have your standard lugs and your custom lugs. Looks like those are the two options you get with this truck. Uh, make sure the center is Alcoa Kenworth. And we'll put a little cap on there. We'll put a cap on all these. There we go. Professional hour. All right. So that looks fantastic. Uh, remove brackets. Yeah, I guess that's for that would be for the for the mud flaps back here. So if you have mud flaps, they it, it has. I would assume it has custom mud flaps as well. Um, we might take a look at that. I do want to show you guys every single option possible. Yeah, these are a lot of the same as well. So as you can see, guys, tons of options for this truck. Uh, it's probably the best W9 I have ever seen. That's an opinion, of course, but <laughs> I mean, my goodness, <laughs> this W9 is absolutely beautiful. So there you go. Let me just check these. Uh, I just want to check the, the options one more time before we take it for a little test drive. We're, we're going to take it for a test drive in a second here. Let's go back to standard because I just want to see these mud flaps here. Okay, here we go. So this is the brackets. There's all kind of different. Let me just put this back to, uh, you know, LED. Oh, okay. So you can, okay. So they got, the, you know, custom mud flap. I never really went through the mud flaps. I always picked the, the fenders. But they have all these different mud flap options, which is really cool. We could also put lights there. So that would be why you would remove the lights on this or just remove it all together. Which, uh, yeah, see. So that, that's really cool. I like that. And then they have different mud flap op, all kind of different mud flap options, which you could probably customize as well. Like, which is really cool to add some realism is they got these dealer ones that are kind of faded out. That's definitely awesome. And then the chrome weights as well, which is fantastic. Everyone loves chrome weights. All right. But for, you know, for this video, we're going to put those other fenders back on, guys. Uh, let's put those back on. Looks fantastic there. There we go. Cool. We'll put uh, those, these taillights back on there as well. Excellent. All right. So as you can see, you know, a lot of configurations for this do get hidden depending on what you have selected. So if you have these, these custom fenders on, you know, all those mud flap options are going to go away. So keep those in mind when you're, when you're customizing these trucks up. But we do have those Idaho plates on. We do have this set up the way I would have this set up, guys. So let's go take it for a test drive. I will be right back with you. Okay, so here it is out in the wild, guys. And something I immediately remembered as soon as I paused the video there was that we forgot to check the interior and do the interior the way we liked it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to bobtail over to the shop, take this thing for a little test drive with the stock interior and check out those interior options uh, just so you guys can see those so first things first let's drop that axle guys turn on our beacons 
And as you can see, there's the red underglow. We'll show you that at night as well later on in the video. But there's that red underglow. You can see as we turn off the beacons there, it fades down out underneath the truck there. And then it fades back in if we turn those beacons back on. So that's why I like to hook it up to the beacon switch. All right, let's pop those headlights on, guys. There's the headlights. Uh, that top row of lights there, that is hooked to the, um, to the high beams. So you guys can see that goes on. That's very, very bright up top there. That is used with the high beams. Uh, and there is our blinkers. One thing I really love about the exterior of this truck, guys, my goodness, is this right here. Look at the absolute detail in those lights down there. And also these lights. The detail is unbelievable. Um, another detail that I love about Ruta's trucks is the fifth wheel. You guys can see the grease on the fifth wheel is textured and shines, which is just unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, just the little things that make John Ruta's trucks just that much more enjoyable. All right, so let's push in our parking brake, guys. Here's the interior. This was the uh, pretty much the stock interior of the truck. Um, but we're, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to head just over to the shop here and uh, change up this interior as well. But as you can see, truck works fantastic. We're going to drop, I believe we already did. Yes, we did drop that axle already. Here's the beautiful exterior. Uh, if you have that big visor down, guys, there is a seven key. This is what I call red light cam. <laughs> you just hit that seven key every time you're sitting at a red light. Uh, and, there, and then you'll be able to uh, see those lights. But yes, with the visors, guys, even when you drop the air out, you're not going to see too much of it. So let's go for a little test drive down here to the shop. The thing handles absolutely almost perfectly. There is um, there's a slight bit. If you go over some bumps with the with the tag axle up, which you don't have this issue if you don't use that tag axle. But if you turn up that, uh, pick up that tag axle, sometimes you get a little extra bumpiness than you're used to. Uh, but I usually keep that tag axle dropped. I don't usually have any issues turning with this particular truck. And we got a green light there, so let's get this thing moving here. We do have that 18-speed transmission as well. So this is what it's like to drive the John Ruta W900, guys. Love it. All right, so we're going to go up to this Volvo dealer. And as soon as we get in there, guys, um, I'm going to show you the interior options of the truck. We'll go get a trailer. I'll show you what it looks like at night as well. So let's go up here. Make a little right turn. Oh, yeah, just the, just the detail in this thing. It's just it's mind blowing. It's like no other truck I've seen. All right, let's get up here, guys. Get back into that shop. I know you guys want to see the in interior options as well. So let's go into that truck configurator. This is what I forgot to do, the interior accessories tab. So let's let's take a look at that. Now, there is an option to get the uh, Sissel's uh, Mega Pack to work inside the truck. I do have that mod activated as well. But as you can see, it is pretty much compatible with all those uh, DLC steering wheels, uh, all the SCI ones, as well as it comes with its own, which I think are absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go with this like reddish cherry wood, I guess it is. They also have the standard uh, steering wheels as well for the Kenworths, guys, but we like I like these ones. Uh, we'll put our little red knob on there as well. All right, so for this, you got multiple options for the... For the uh, the dash here, you have your redwood, which matches this uh, redwood steering wheel. You have all types of different wood options for this. Or you could go with the black, or you could go with the carbon. Um, I would probably choose the black or the red. Just for this one, I'm going to match the steering wheel there. Uh, you have your, uh, that's, a, that's an exterior option. You have your uh, different size uh, shifter here. You got your long and your standard. We're just going to go with the standard. I think the long, you know, is not exactly my cup of tea. Uh, this is part of the Sissel's pack. If you get, if you do have that mod activated, which I believe comes with this truck, you know, you have to activate it. It's a separate mod, but then you can get all the Sissel's stuff. You got a different, you got the wood floor, which is fantastic. That's a new part of this mod as well. You also have the brown, 
and the uh, standard red as well. I'm going to go with the wood grain because I think that looks amazing on the floor of a truck, on any truck. Uh, this is your dash options for your uh, Sissel's Mega Pack, which is fantastic. You can have a little kitty or your Coca-Cola Classic, whatever you guys want. Uh, and your... Uh, I, get, I don't think there's an option to... Ch yeah, there's no option to change out the CB, but the CB looks pretty stinking good there. So we don't really need one. Um, I think that is it for the interior options. We're, I'm going to take off that side mirror. I don't really use those side mirrors. I'm just going to make sure we went through everything here. Um, oh, yeah, the Tom Tom. So this is part of the Sissel's pack as well, but we don't really need that. We do have a dash GPS as well. So... But yeah, that's that's pretty much it as far as that's concerned. Um, you could probably put something on the floor there. Yeah, it's part of Sissel's pack as well. Okay, so that takes care of that, guys. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to confirm our order. And I'm going to pause the video very, very quickly. And we will pick up a load and show you what this looks like carrying a load down the street. Okay, we're back here. Uh, we got that all set up. The interior looks fantastic. The exterior looks just like we want it, guys. Uh, we do have that tag axle dropped, and we're going to pick up a doubles load here with our John Ruta Kenworth W900L, guys. So let's pick that up. I do have advanced coupling turned off. That's just because I use... I don't know if this truck does work with advanced coupling or not. Um, I believe it does, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but I do have that turned off, and the reason being um, is because I use a lot of different mod trucks, and some of them are not compatible with that so i just like to leave it off uh it's just easier for me so i don't have to remember in case i use a mod truck and then get stuck one of these times but there's what it looks like pulling a load guys we did get a doubles i believe cement load here out of utah but this truck looks fantastic pulling anything uh like i showed you before guys a ton of customization options that were just added in version 4.0 of this truck um it is definitely you know you guys know i got a soft spot for those w9ers so this is definitely probably one of my favorite trucks that exists as far as mods are concerned um you know the stock the stock w900 is nice in the game but they just don't offer a lot of options and a lot of those customization options you know it, it, the 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 base model of this truck alone uh you know is 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 very different looking than you know the the stock w9 er so it's got like a just kind of a meaner bigger look to it i love it it's just it looks great it handles great it runs great in the game i mean i do have a very uh you know powerful pc but for me it does run fantastic we don't get any frame drops or anything like that and this is not a review or anything guys it's just a build and drive i did want to just show you one of my favorite trucks that i do love to use in this game um, so we're just going to take a quick drive all the way over to the next rest area. This is going, I believe, west. So we're just going to take a, a quick little drive with this Kenworth W900 and head right to our rest area. So that's what we're get, we got going on. I'll just, uh, I'll be quiet. I know this is kind of weird for me to be quiet, but I will be quiet for just a little bit as we do head to this. So you guys can kind of get the feel and, and uh, the sound and kind of take in what this truck really does have to offer there. Is that Jake break? Oh, that's another thing about these engine packs. I don't know where John Ruta got these engines, but that Jake break sounds absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it really does. It kind of has like a, you know, just a real, it's just a real throaty Jake break. Now we got that green light finally. Now, I am kind of skip shifting right now through these 18 gears here.
Get a nice little look at the interior as well. The interior is super detailed. And you guys remember, we did put on those uh, lights as well, those in-cabin lights. That's why you're seeing kind of a light reflection off that steering knob there. Um, we do have those interior lights. That is something you can turn off. If you want a darker cabin, um, that is something that you can turn off in the options as well. Turn right. Let's let that Jake break per as we uh, get on this highway here. Get a little listen at that. Oh yeah, that sounds amazing. <laughs> All right, let's do some merging action here, chat. I don't even have a chat. I don't know why I said that. Force of habit. So yeah, there it is. Just one of my absolute favorite mods in American Truck Simulator, guys. The Kenworth W900L from John Ruta, guys. And I gotta say, I am very, very happy. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, Mustang problems. What else is new? Oh dear. Um, but yeah, just one of the one of the nice little hidden gems of the modding world, guys. Um, and like I said, this is a paid mod. I will include a uh, how to get this mod in the video descriptions, guys. If you do want to get it, it is legit. He is a very well known and very uh, uh, well respected and has a great reputation as a modder. Uh, definitely check out this mod from John Ruta if you do want it. But I absolutely love it. I believe he calls it the highway killer and with good reason and like i said there are multiple configurations you do not need to configure it like this there are a ton of different uh you know options for this headlights different fenders lighting all kinds of stuff and uh just real quickly i will make it nighttime and you guys can see what this truck looks like at night all right, we switched it to about 9.15 in-game time, guys. And uh, as you can see, there's the beautiful underglow that you can turn on and off as well. Let's turn that. Oh, we're supposed to take this exit. Uh, you can turn that on and off. Turn that on there. As you can see, it fades on. You can see the beautiful lighting on the turn signal there. Really, really cool LED custom lighting. This is a custom truck. There's the interior. Now, a lot of people do like that interior light. Like I said, that is something you can turn off as well if you want the darker uh, cabin lights. But yeah, so there it is, guys. Beautiful. I love the, that's why I picked those LED headlights uh, is because it has those little, little tiny LEDs around the main headlight as well. And those flares, those light flares, guys, this does come with a light flare pack i believe as well oh well, would you look at that i don't play the i don't play the game too often at night but it does look beautiful at night doesn't it <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it guys that is the uh kenworth w900l from john ruda guys one of my favorite mods i just wanted to do a little bit of a build and drive because you guys don't really get to see all the options you got you guys always see the finished product well, now you can see what it takes to actually build a truck. Uh, there is a lot of detail. Uh, you could spend hours, you know, building a truck, depending on this, the mod or, or whatever truck you got, how many options you got. So definitely something uh, that I really enjoy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as well to kind of take a look at the actual game instead of uh, all the craziness that happens on my stream. <laughs> so yeah, there it is, guys. The Kenworth W900. Have an excellent, excellent rest of your day, everybody.